Hi, welcome to SPR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. It's uh, the week before the Super Bowl, and I'm very happy to welcome back regular guest Al McMorty from BigAl.com, who has a, a long track record of success handicapping the NFL at his, at his site, as well as other sports. And of course, from my perspective, most importantly, in our videos for free, he was about 66% against the spread in the NFL this year with us. Al McMorty, thanks so much for all those free picks in our videos, and thanks for being back with us. Thanks, Peter. All right, Al, you're going to give us a, a pick on the Super Bowl. I'm very happy about this. Very interested to hear what you have to say. Uh, in most years, do you feel like you have a, uh, a good read on a value play uh, with the Super Bowl, or is it just something that, uh, you know, from a side and total perspective, not something that you see as, as a likely huge value play each year? Well, I think, you know, every year is different. I mean, last year we had a huge play on the over in the game mm -hmm. between Seattle and Denver, and that cashed when Seattle won the game 43-8. to eight. Other years, you know, I've passed completely on the Super Bowl. Right. Every year is different this year, I think, is, you know, an average game as far as it goes. All right, well, thanks for giving a, a free pick with us. This year, before we get into it, just tell everyone, you know, what your website is all about, BigAl.com. Our regular viewers, though, have been, I'm sure, very impressed with your uh, analysis and our videos and, of course, your results. Yeah, you know, we had another great year in the NFL this season, over about uh, 20 games over 500, as documented by the Sports Monitor. The previous year, we were 83 and 57. The year before that, we ranked number one in the country uh, by the Sports Monitor, cashing 76.7% of our best bets in the NFL that year. So it's been a great uh, run for us in the NFL. Um, and people can go to BigAl.com and click on Picks for Sale for all of our selections in basketball, hockey, and football. And then they can go to the Free Picks page to get three complimentary selections every day online, two for myself, one from Larry Ness. And that's all available for free, nothing to buy, no strings attached. Just go to BigAl.com and click on Free Picks. All right, that sounds great. And you were also one of the top finishers in the uh, famous uh, Hilton contest this year, right? For people who aren't familiar with uh, what that contest is all about, tell us what that's all about and remind us uh, how well you did this year. Yeah, no, it was great. Uh, you know, I teamed up with Scott Spreitzer. Scott's one of the handicappers who sells picks on my website. And we finished 16th out of 1,404 entrants. So... We won $21,000, which was a lot of fun. And, um, you know, it's probably the, the, the most uh, important football handicapping contest in the country. Congrats on that result. And let's just get down to your analysis and pick for Super Bowl 49. Right now, uh, the market wide line is Seattle plus one, totals 47 and a half. Those lines have settled. The, uh, the total's gone down a bit. And of course, uh, Seattle opened uh, about as a small favorite in Vegas, quickly got bet the other way, got bet to pick them. And now, pretty much market wide, it's Pats minus one. So the market has made a, a, a definitive statement that they think that uh, the initial lean was to the Pats, at least on the initial line. And, uh, you know, that could have to do with a lot of things. I can certainly see why possible injuries on Seattle's defense. The fact that Seattle is not playing at, uh, at home where they have a big advantage, this will be at a neutral site playing against an elite team. So that's a tougher assignment um, for Seattle. And, uh, you know, Belichick and Brady, giving them two weeks to prepare, maybe against anyone, they're the side that you want to bet on. What's your take on this game, Al? Well, you know, uh, certainly the neutral field didn't hurt Seattle last year when it played Denver. And, I, and let's be honest here. One could certainly make a case for either of these two teams. They are the two best teams in football. But I favor Seattle in this matchup. You know, first, I believe Seattle was, you know, slightly the better team uh, in the regular season. And especially down the stretch, you know, between games 5 and 14 for New England. That's when it played its best football. But then New England kind of stumbled down the stretch. It dropped three of its last four games, though its most recent games, the one everyone will remember, is that 45-7 victory against the Indianapolis Colts. On the flip side, Seattle was dominant in its last uh, games all the way up until that Green Bay game. You know, Seattle had, you know, won seven games in a row covering each game. They covered by an average of 15.57 points per game. They held their opponents to about eight or nine points per game in those contests. But what you have going on here is the recency effect. People just remember what happened most recently. And that's one of the reasons why New England is attracting 73% of the wagers. You know, it's because all people can see is the fact that they won 45-7 and that Seattle got extremely lucky to beat Green Bay. That being said, I think there is some value here with Seattle. Seattle, I believe, was the slightly better team in the regular season. 
I also like the fact that Seattle has the better defense. Their defense is about three points better than New England's defense. And when you can get a team with the better defense getting points, unfortunately, we're only getting one point here. That has been a decent play in Super Bowls. And then the other fact is that New England scored 45 points in its last game. And when you look at what teams do in the playoffs after scoring 39 or more points in a playoff game, those teams have been dreadful going back about um, 18 years. Those teams are now 4-25 and 25 against the spread their last 29. Wow. So that's another reason why you really don't want to take a team in the playoffs off a big, explosive playoff win like that. And, you know, it's 4-25 and 25 the last 29. That includes 0-4 in Super Bowls wow. that a team has, you know, stumbled after scoring more than 38 points in its previous game. So with, with that technical data in place, I do like Seattle in this ball game, but admittedly, it is a very tough call. Right, wow, that's a very interesting stat. What about injuries on defense for Seattle? Just throwing that out, you're not uh, considering that at all? Well, injuries, I think that's one of the reasons why the line has moved. And I think, right. you know, before, and, and again, the other reason is the fact of the, the two games played on Championship Sunday. You know, before those games were played, the AFC was going to be about a two and a half point underdog. Mm -hmm. And then after those two games were played, then the line moved, and it became New England minus one. So all of that kind of works together to give what I consider to be a little bit of value on behalf of Seattle. I personally would have made Seattle a half-point favorite. So I do think the line's very, very, very close. But for value, you do have to look at Seattle. All right. I guess, uh, you know, there's some people who have given the opinion that, uh, that uh, the Pats' defense is better than advertised, that they're an underrated defense, and that Seattle doesn't really have uh, weapons at receiver to, uh, to match up with what the Pats are going to bring. Do you think that, uh, you know, offensively, is Seattle uh, uh, good enough to warrant a bet here? Well, all they do is win, so obviously they're good <laughs> offensively. And, and, and I agree with you. I think the Pats' defense is very good. I mean, they're only giving up, you know, 19, and 19 points a game, you know, a little bit more than 19 points a game. That's a very good defense. It's not an elite defense. For an elite defense, you really want to see them, you know, at 16, 15, 17 points a game. 19 and a half is still very, very good. It's just not at Seattle's level. And when you look at what Seattle's done, again, I'll, I'll repeat not including the game against Green Bay, they were giving up eight points right. a game their previous seven. That's, that's about as good as it gets, and I'm not going to step in front of that Seattle team. Al McMorty from BigAl.com, classic analysis, very, very illuminating stat there. Teams coming off of uh, high-scoring playoff wins. If the Pats uh, get a cover here, they're going to be bucking that trend of how NFL teams have done historically in the playoffs coming off of a high-scoring win. Thanks so much, Al, for all your uh, insights on Super Bowl 49. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.